RSI, the relative strength index says it's overbought, but the stocks keeps going higher and higher. So should you sell or should you buy? Let's finally decode RSI the right way. Hi, I'm Prana VK, an NISM certified trader and trainer, and you're watching Stockshala by Kotak Securities. Today, we'll talk about one of the most widely used, as well as the most misunderstood indicator, the RSI, also called as Relative Strength Index. Let's go beyond the numbers and understand the psychology behind these moves. RSI is a momentum indicator, and it helps us measure the speed and strength of the recent price moves. It gives you a value between 0 as well as 100. If the value is above 70, it is often called as overbought, whereas if the value is below 30, then it is often called as oversold. But here's the key. Overbought doesn't mean the prices will fall immediately or oversold doesn't mean the prices are going to rise immediately. Let me explain this with context. Overbought simply means the price has gone up quickly and that RSI is showing a strong momentum towards the upside. But this doesn't mean that the price is going to start falling immediately. Similarly, oversold means the price has fallen quickly and that RSI is showing strong momentum on the bottom side. But this doesn't guarantee a bounce back immediately. The strong uptrends as well as the strong downtrends can tend to stay in overbought or oversold regions for days and sometimes even a few weeks. It's about momentum and not reversal prediction. So let's get to the charts and see some real life example. So here I've added the RSI indicator on the nifty one day time frame chart. So as I explained earlier, RSI moves between 0 and 100. You can see the values here. It goes between 0 as well as 100. And the white line represents the actual value of RSI at this specific moment. Here, you can see that at this level, the price has moved upwards and RSI has also reached the overbought region. But after which, the price did not reverse immediately. It stayed in the overbought region for a fair amount of time. Similarly, just like the overbought region, you can also see that during COVID time, when Nifty 50 fell significantly, the RSI also went below the 30 line and went to the oversold region. But it did not rebound immediately, whereas it stayed in the oversold region for a fair amount of time. And that is exactly why you should not think that as soon as the market has reached overbought or oversold regions, the market is going to reverse. Now let's learn how to use RSI the smart way. There are two things you need to learn before we move forward. One is called the RSI divergence and the other one is called RSI confirmation. A divergence happens when the price and the indicator show two opposite things. Whereas a confirmation happens when the price as well as the indicator are showing the same things. Let me help you understand with an example. So here I've taken the example of Tech Mahindra Limited on a one week time frame. The candlestick chart, as you can see, is creating higher highs, whereas the indicator, which is RSI, is creating lower high for the same time frame. So this shows that the price and the indicator are showing two opposite things. This is called as bearish divergence and it indicates a possible slow, slowness in momentum. This indicates that the momentum is slowing down. As we have already seen the example of RSI divergence, now let's look at RSI confirmation. Here again, I have taken the Nifty 50 chart on the one day time frame, and you can see that Nifty is forming higher highs. And at the same time, you can also observe that RSI is also creating higher highs. So as you can see, both Nifty as well as the indicator is showing the same trend, which means that the momentum is strong on the upside and it is called as RSI confirmation. Now that we have understood what is divergence as well as confirmation, 
It's important to know that it's not about timing the bottom or the top, but rather it's important to know when the momentum is actually fading. And divergence can help you just do that. While RSI is a momentum indicator, it also works well sometimes if you use it in the sideways market. Some of the momentum traders as well as scalpers use RSI when the range is between 70 as well as 30. They use 70 as the resistance and 30 level as the support and they buy at 30 and sell at 70 and also do the opposite to make trades. While using RSI, don't use it alone. Always use it with support and resistance levels, volumes, price action as well as market structure to get better entries and exits. Here's where traders go wrong while using RSI. They take RSI when it comes to 70, the overbought region as a sure short sell and when RSI comes down to 30, which is the oversold region as a sure short buy. Some of them also use it without any kind of market context and many use it in isolation without having other tools for confirmation. And this is exactly where they go wrong. Use it to support your view, but not create one blindly. Here's an analogy to help you understand RSI better. Think of it like your car's speedometer. The moment your speedometer hits 100 km per hour, it doesn't mean you're going to crash. All it means is that you have to stay alert. Similarly, when RSI goes to the overbought region, it just means that you have to stay alert and make sure you're taking care of your positions properly. Same with RSI. It tells you how fast the price is moving, but it's up to you to decide whether it is sustainable or not. Here are some of the RSI settings that might be beneficial for you. By default, RSI is set to a 14 period. Intraday traders use it on a 1 hour or a 15 minutes time frame chart, whereas swing traders use it on a daily time frame chart. And some of the investors as well use it on the 1 week time frame chart. But always make sure to test it in your specific market and then use them wisely. Now let's recap what we have learned so far. RSI is a momentum indicator and not trend. RSI above 70 indicates overbought region, whereas RSI below 30 indicates a oversold region. RSI generally is a value between 0 and 100. Even though the market is in overbought region, it doesn't mean the market is going to reverse. Whereas if the market is oversold, doesn't mean it's going to bounce back immediately as well, because these overbought as well as oversold regions can last for a few days to a few weeks. Treat RSI as the supporting actor and not the hero. In the upcoming videos, we'll be covering more technical concepts. So make sure that you're subscribing to Stockshala by Kotak Securities. I am Prana VK and I'm going to see you in the next video. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.